So, Jack, t- tell us a little bit more about your operation. I mean, you know, roughly you know, the, the, the size, you know, servers, virtual servers, terabytes, things like that. Just paint a picture for our audience. Yeah, a quick picture is, uh, you know, we're a pretty small company. We started out uh, with two refurb Dell servers seven years ago. Uh, the company's around 12 years old, but now we have, you know, roughly 200 virtualized servers, uh, mostly on compellent. Uh, and, uh, you know, like most people with them, when you get to uh, tiered architecture and virtualization, it start, you you know, it's pretty easy to get to 100 servers overnight. So, and how many physical servers? Wow, I have no idea. I wish I, I, wish I was more technical, but I have to imagine that, uh, you know, we're, we're pretty lean. We're typically at a seven to one ratio. Yeah, okay. All right, and, and I'm sorry, how much storage did you say you had? Did, did uh, I think we lost count somewhere around 500 terabytes. Okay, oh, decent size for a Yeah, small, small company, company. Uh, but uh, you know, the, the virtualization has really allowed us to increase the quality of our product and by that I mean you know we have dev environments everywhere now QA staging and uh, being able to quickly roll and provision uh, uh, hosts by uh, compellent or by you know in addition with VMware allows us to do those at quality level. Can do you do you know how much of your application portfolio is is virtualized? Yeah, roughly? we are uh, roughly about 99% virtualized and, really? and uh, you know everything that can be virtualized we've done. It's only things that require certain car- smart cards or otherwise that can't be virtualized. So, so yeah, configuration well, nuances are the only things that Yes, right, that right. So uh, the, you know, so far we found there's really no reason if not to virtualize if you can. Okay. Now Jason Somer, you're coming at this from a, a little wider perspective both as a consumer of storage and and, and systems particularly compellent storage, and also uh, uh, an integrator and seller of those. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, to be a reseller of compellent was an easy decision. We started off as a customer, basically, representing one of my uh, customers, Passport Capital a Hedge Fund, that at the time needed a very high-performance SAN. We had already made a commitment to VMware and needed virtualized storage to go along with virtualized servers. And so, uh, you know, Compellent was impressive enough that uh, I'm not a reseller. uh, uh, It's not a really core focus of my business in in a broad sense, but I decided to, you know, partner with Compellent because uh, just very impressed with the product. I think they, you know, Compellent leads in pretty much every, every category. And in particular, they're strong in areas that are really important to us. Uh, particularly in finance.